Hey class, in this video, I'm going to go over some of the questions in your chapter 17 quiz. Um, so, all right, the first question says, if a price level increased from 237 to 205, then what is the percentage of inflation rate? So this is something we learned in chapter 11 um, with the CPI and also the inflation. So remember, just use your new number minus the old number and divided by the old number. Right? So that will be the new number here. Oh, come on, what is that? <laughs> so new number and over here is the old number right so we're gonna do uh so 205 new number minus the old number 237 uh, divided by the old number 237 um make sure your answer is in a percentage and that will be the inflation here now also be careful with the signage um positive or negative matters here right so this number here should be negative all right so next question um if the price level is eight dollars uh, real gdp is forty nine thousand five hundred velocity for money is 2.9 how much is our uh, our money supply so this is the formula in the chapter we have um so remember this v times m uh, equals to p times y right so just plug the form plug the numbers here um so velocity for money is 2.9 um price level is eight um, real GDP is 49,500. So just got to solve for the missing variable, right? So we have, therefore your money supply will just equals to eight times 49,500 divided by 2.9. And whatever the answer is, that's going to be your um, money supply. Okay. Um, all right. So there's one more question, this one. All right. So this is probably the, the most difficult question in the entire chapter. Um, so if a nominal interest rate offered by the local bank is 14%, uh, expecting inflation is 3%, and then we have a 15% uh, tax rate on income, um, how much is the after-tax real interest rate? All right, so we're going to use our nominal tax rate, a nominal income, or nominal interest rate, uh, minus how much tax you pay, and then minus how much our inflation is. All right, so um, our nominal income is fourteen percent. Now the tax will be fifteen percent of our fourteen percent, and then minus inflation is three percent. Right, so um, let's see how much this is. Where is my calculator? Calculator. All right, it's going to do point one five times point one four. And that's going to be 0 0.021, so 2.1%. So we have 14% minus 2.1% and then minus 3%. And that will equal to, what is it, 9.9%? 9 .9%? No, 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 8.9%, right? So wait, let me double check. This is weekend, can't trust myself now. So 14 14 um, minus 2.1 and then minus 3 percent all right so so 8.9 so i was right well sure so 8.9 percent right so again use your nominal interest rate 14 percent minus the tax rate so tax rate is the 15 percent of your 14 percent and then minus inflation which is three percent and that will be our um, our after tax real interest rate okay all right guys so guys this is all the question for this chapter um have any more question let me know okay bye bye